Hey everyone, this is Abhishek. Welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about this one that is QA from PDF files where you want to know like from which PDF the answer is and this is this is going to be implemented with hugging face model and no implement no involvement of OpenAI here. Okay, so everything would be without OpenAI and uh, I mean like with Langchain and hugging face model. Okay. So let's then get started. So for that, we have to clone this repo. Let me clone it. Okay, so the cloning is completed. We got all the data here, and we are going to use uh, this one. Okay, so if you go to this one, you would get uh, this code. Okay, and uh, just a minute. And uh, you would get, uh, I have already stored some PDF files here. You can store uh, any PDF files in this folder. Um, any number of uh, PDF files also you can use. So that's not a, I mean, that would not be a problem. Okay, so the first, uh, okay, so for, before starting, I want to tell you three things. Uh, what we are going, we, are, we need for, uh, to do this work, uh, okay. So main important three thing is first thing is like search that is a good for a good search we need a index okay we are creating an index for a, a proper searching for contextual searching we are using embedding to answer the question in a proper way we are using LLM so three things okay so for that see we are using embedding as I said that this is the first step we are setting up the embedding model and the LLM model. So in this embedding model, I'm going to set the model which I am I want to use for to create the uh, what say the embedding and that embedding would be used to get the contextual search. Okay. And for search, uh, I can tell you now only. Uh, for search, I am using Chroma DB. I mean, like the for indexing, I am using Chroma DB. So searching is have searching would happen with Chroma DB and this embedding. Okay. And to answer, I am going to use the, uh, to answer your question. Uh, whatever you are you are going to ask to this system, uh, I am using this model. Okay. So let me run this to now the second thing is loading the data okay and uh, i mean like if if uh, if some data is too large we need to do what say uh, chunking of that data because if we pass a huge data to openai openai would not accept it because it has a limitation okay uh, so for that reason we are chunking it uh, this is required. So I am ch the chunk size that I'm using is 500 and the overlap that I'm using is 50 Okay, so anyway, that is the thing here for uh, and the next thing is I'm going to load the uh, embedding model and After that I'm going to load the LLM model. Let me run everything we do because it will take time. Okay, so here what is uh, what is going to happen is see this is very straightforward this load embedding uh, load embedding one i'm going to i'm using this uh, langchain embedding uh, module and for that from that i'm importing this uh, hugging face inst uh, instruction embedding and i am mentioning the model name and it is creating one variable and with that variable i am just uh, checking like the embedding is properly or not so uh, i'm testing for the testing purpose i'm passing a dummy text here and we are you can see like we are getting the embedding so it's working right uh, so fine now coming to the llm so in llm we have to do we have to create a pipeline for that llm okay so in that pipeline what are the things we have to pass that is one is model we have to pass we have to pass tokenizer and what we are doing text to text generation right so that we have to mention and some 
what's a hyper parameter or parameter whatever you say you have to mention like what is the max length what is the quality I mean, like temperature means like what what quality uh, you want uh, and like top p you can uh, say it um, repetition penalty I mean, like penalty you can say like uh, anything like that uh, these things you can check uh, from google after this you please run this so that you can be confirmed like it is working properly or not uh, so i have try i have passed this thing like that as a question like and it is answering properly okay so fine it is working after that we have to create a db uh, a index db to search properly okay so for that i am using chroma and i am running it and see when you pass this persist directory and you you, you are uh, mentioning here uh, so it would create a folder db see it it created right and in that you would get several index so it's creating so it's not came but after some like when the db would be created you would get all the index at here okay so let it run so the next thing what i am doing i am creating a retriever from out of this index okay this is the this db variable is the index with from that db i am going to i am creating a retriever okay and a retrieval qa from it and in retrieval qa see what i am passing llm chain test stuff that means like it would answer uh, properly and um, the context contextual answer it would give and the retriever for the for getting the exact answer i mean like uh, finding the exact pdf where the answer is we are using retriever and like also i want uh, to know like from which pdf the answer is so i am mentioning that as uh, source document also we want so i mentioned true so up to this i guess clear uh, one thing again i'm clarifying this retriever is we are using for to get the proper pdf where the answer could be and uh, or i mean like not only the pdf the exact chunk from that pdf we are finding and then we are passing that to this llm okay so that's what we are doing and we have to wait till it complete uh, the running okay so the run is complete now it's time to check if uh, everything is working properly or not so for that i am asking something like uh, solution to the climate change i'm like the one of the pdf has the climate change thing so let me see what the answer is switching energy system so it's answering properly right and let me see from which pdf it is answering so see it is i mean like take i'm like it is showing the correct answer like uh, yeah this pdf is for uh, climate change right so it's answering from the proper exact uh, pdf now let me answer uh, ask a different question and let me see if it is answering properly or not so to run okay so this is the answer the independence i don't know what is it uh, so yeah the answer may be proper uh, correct or maybe so let me do the same thing here also to check the pdf file is proper see so here for the p for, for the previous question which was solution to the climate change it is showing climate change pdf and for the for the next question that is what is uh, impedance in transformation anyway transformer thing so it is answering from this transformer pdf so it is properly giving you the answer and from which pdf the answer is so you can use this type of things from uh, what's a question if you are creating some uh, what's a document search kind of you can use this type of solution uh, so this may help you uh, yeah that's it from this video and link of this video you would get in the description below and uh, if you have any doubt any question you can ask me in the comment section i would uh, try to answer that as soon as possible and if you like this video, subscribe the channel and hit the like button. Thanks. Bye-bye.